Hello guys, it's Jim Bidi Chong Bidi Chips here. I opened the Discord few weeks ago and I was watching my minions over there. You know what I realized? Everybody is so insecure about their art. Which I know artists are insecure and anxious, but seeing how many people were so hard on themselves was interesting, say the least. I tried to create a step by step uh, not to be that hard on yourself. I have like 5 points and I will start with imposter syndrome. So let's talk about imposter syndrome first. When you are trying to get good at anything, some people start to feel like they are not enough or they are a fraud like a scammer. It doesn't matter how much they get good at the thing, they still can't develop an appreciation for their craft. I think this problem, uh, problem's roots causes low self-esteem. And also, this comes with ADHD sometimes, just as a side note. So I will focus more on how to deal with low self-esteem as an artist. I want to start with how everyone has a predisposition to be unique. No matter what you do, your art is valuable because it's the imprint of you. I don't consider realistic art as the most perfect art style. There are some people who worship the little details on 3D art like bacon texture of Thanos' chin, but <laughs> I don't agree on that. I think art is just the communication. I think it's like this. You create a hello message for your uh, friend. You, you can either write it perfectly or very badly. It really doesn't matter for the person who needs to like hear a hi from their friend. Basically, there is someone in the world who needs your message. There is someone who really needs your art. So you don't have to shy away and wait for it to become perfect. You can just share your art for the person who cares. My second point is social media is not a good way to understand your worth or how good your art is. Your popularity is partly about how good you branded yourself. And it's about like how you are good at, how much you are good at marketing. Also, social media websites are terrible and they don't really care about the creators, especially the small ones. Let's talk about the marketplace first. There are a lot of artists who draws portraits and with, uh, fun arts. So if you come down to social media do, to do that, you will probably face uh, a lot of competition. This is why going for a niche will make you more successful. What I mean by marketplace, I'm not trying to give you guys a business class. I'm just trying to say like if there is 1 million people in the hashtag, you are competing with 1 million posts. But like if you try to go for a smaller niche, you will probably be more successful. And then... I think this is why furry commissions are successful, not because um, that is necessarily about the furries, it's more about the, it's because a niche. The same for D&D, like if you do only D&D stuff, you will get more followers than someone who does every kind of stuff. So I think going for a, something that nobody else is doing would make you more successful actually. So if there are stuff that you are hiding because you think that people will dislike you, you may want to rethink that. Also you can think today most popular creators are not niche and anything like that. There is a reason for that. They started doing social media back in the 2000s when the competition was super low. So it's true that a lot of popular artists on Instagram does like normal portraits and they are successful but in today's competition I think that wouldn't work for a new starter I mean this is a complete different um, thing but I talk with people in my discord and realize how much social media affects how you see your art how much it makes you insecure uh, the, the my say next point Let's come to the websites. I am very loaded about this one. If you're a creator on social media, you probably experience a terrible situation with website. 
I experienced a bunch of stuff. My Instagram got deleted once by the company itself and I lost my webtoon account due to a bug. Also websites use your insecurities against you on purpose, especially Instagram does that. This is why Instagram is my least favorite social media account. Instagram lowers your engagement. After a while, uh, you feel start to feel desperate because your likes get lower and lower. So you start to pay for the advertisement tools. Uh, these are true for Webtoon too. After I lost my account, I uploaded uh, my comic again and then this time I didn't open my comic to advertisement and my comic get half of the engagement even though I uploaded more frequently. So if you don't let Webtoon advertise on your comic, it promotes your comic less. I'm not even going to go into YouTube stuff because you already know how YouTube doesn't care. But don't get discouraged by this. You can still reach people with your art and social media. This is why I opened the Discord two weeks ago because I wanted to connect to people who follows me or I follow. No social media allows you to do that these days. So focus more on the connecting with your followers. Don't focus on the numbers. Do you know how it feels to post a piece? You work for 8 hours and when you post it on twitter.com, you get like 6 likes and no retweets. I know how it feels. I know how it feels to post a commission post and get no attention whatsoever. Normally people in this situation react with desperation. And this point stands against it. You might get less likes and attention than you hope for. But you are never desperate. Don't constantly try to lower your prices, that doesn't work. You do more work and get paid less than a minimum wage. When things are not going well for you, always remember there is a way out. My uh, observation, when you act on the feeling of desperation, it only makes people run away. And when the prices on the commission sheet is too low, you can be sure people will think you are a beginner. If you need a start, of course, you can start from a very low prices. But let me tell you something. Uh, I start to get more commissions after I put the prices I deserve. And usually the actions that are taken during a panicked mindset does not bring the best results. So breathe, step back and think again. I also saw a lot of people arguing artists can make their prices higher because art is not a real need. I disagree. I think art is a real need and people need a reminder of how life is more than eating, sleeping and being anxious. And this is why we should be able to earn money from it because it's valuable. And I think people would think their art is terrible misses the point of what art stands for. It's good to improve and learn new techniques, but while you are learning, you can also be kind to yourself. People think if they are not hard on themselves enough, they won't improve, which is absolutely wrong. But you can actually improve yourself faster if you give yourself a safe space to make mistakes. My last advice is to treat yourself like somebody else, which sounds kinda crazy, but what I mean by that is you can create a kind voice in your head. Imagine the, vo the rude, insulting voices in your head were a person. Would you keep that person in your life? So I know no one can stop those voices and the best thing to do is create an opposite kind friendly voice in your head. I created a kind friendly voice in my head. Whenever I'm feeling low, I ask myself what would my friend would say about this situation. Of course they would say how everything will be okay and my art is amazing. Because I will say this to my best friends, like I would support my friends, I wouldn't insult them or be hard on them. So try this method. I'm sure the only Discord people will watch this. Hello guys. <laughs> I'm saying hi from YouTube. Okay. So yeah, hope this was helpful. See you guys next time friends. Goodbye.